Hey, so a quick update. Um, I went to the doctor today, had an ultrasound and blood work done, and I got the green light to trigger tonight. So really excited. Um, my doctor actually kept me on the medicine for an extra day. Yesterday I went in for an ultrasound and blood work, and um, he said I had mature maturing eggs in my ovaries. My left one didn't have anything, but my right one did. So um, he just had to check on my blood work to see if we were going to trigger yesterday, but my progesterone was nowhere on there. It was um, almost non-existent. It was a little bit, but not a lot. So he said it was because it was low, it was safe to go an extra day. So I did an extra day of Menopure and of the Gonal um, and two doses of the Lupron. Um, so this morning was my last gonal shot and men or er, lupron shot and tonight we trigger so the trigger medicine looks like it comes in a box like this from my pharmacy and it's actually two vials one is a liquid one is a powder um it's kind of stuck on the bottom it doesn't really move um but you put in one milliliter or is it milliliter milliliter of the um, water and then you mix it with this and you put it in this long needle so this is a really big really thick needle um, I don't know if you can tell it's pretty big um, I don't know the packaging I don't know where it is it's big um, and this is what I use to put it into the vial and to mix it and then when we're done mixing it, I put this one on, which is still pretty long compared to my finger, um, but it's thinner than the other one. And this one will actually go, what goes into my bottom. Um, John's gonna be putting in that this shot because it goes into my butt and I clearly can't reach back there. Um, but we have been doing intramuscular injections for a year now, um, since we started this a year ago, and we're kind of experts at it in our own mind. Um, I personally, when I did it last time, was told to put ice on my bottom to try to numb it, and um, I don't think it worked because... It still hurt and I had a huge bruise and it just felt like a knot under my skin um, when we were doing the progesterone shots in my bottom um, when we did the transfers they were oil based so I heated my bottom up which and I also heated the oil I just placed it next to my body to, to get my body heat for like 10 or 15 minutes so everything was kind of warm and when oil is warm it flows better so smoother so that would go in easier. So I think this time, this is not an oil base, it's a water base, but I feel like I'm gonna warm it because the cold did not help last time. Um, but tonight is our trigger. I'm super excited. That means it's the end of a lot of medicine, a lot of pains, and um, it's the start of the next process when this is over. Um, our trigger is at 9.30 tonight, and then I go in tomorrow for our blood work to make sure that the medicine that we're triggering with works. And then on Saturday morning at 8 a.m. is our retrieval. So any prayers or good wishes or, I don't know, cross your fingers and all your toes. Um, we are really, really hoping this goes well and smooth and we get some embryos. Uh, we'll find out five days after that if we got embryos and then the embryos that we do get because you know we're going to get some we'll go off for genetic testing and i'll try to keep you updated um when we find out how many embryos we have that made it to day five and then what the genetic testing says once we get that back as well and then we can start the next process of the transfers um but if you have any questions let me know and i will give you all an update as soon as i get one or get the next stuff going. Have a good night.